This is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and CoolestCheapLaptops.com. Welcome to Windows 8 Consumer Preview Tips, Tricks, and How To's. I've gone ahead and installed Windows 8 on a Pentium 4 with one and a half gig of memory, and I'm in the process of booting it up from uh, a cold boot. So uh, let's go ahead and watch this happen. The first screen that you see during Windows 8 boot up process is this screen with a fish and a zero and an eight. Then you see this screen which gives you the date and time. And then you're prompted to log in. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now once we're logged in, we boot up right into the start um, Metro interface. And uh, the Metro interface is filled with apps, uh, large icons or widgets, whichever you prefer, and um, multiple colors actually too. Um, and then up top you got the start, but there's it doesn't do anything. On the right hand side we do have uh, the user, and if you want to switch your user, you click on there and you can lock, sign out, change account picture, or log in to another user account. Or your uh, if you have a uh, a Windows or a Microsoft Live account, you can you know click right and log right in right there. Okay, um, at any time on this um, Metro interface, you can move from the left side to the right side, and it's pretty smooth. And there's no lag or anything. Uh, it's very fluid. Uh, that, that seems to be a buzzword lately to describe Windows 8. Um, as you can see, I've put some. Uh, I've installed a couple of applications. Uh, I've installed Microsoft uh, Office uh, 2007, and that install went very well on uh, Win 8. And uh, at any given time, um, if you want to go come back to your uh, your Metro interface, um, you can always hit your um, Windows key on your keyboard, and that'll bring you back to this uh, back to this uh, screen, this Metro interface. Um, right now, let's go over to the desktop. Uh, you know, the desktop looks pretty good. You can do almost anything that you would normally do in uh, Windows 8 within um, the Windows 8, uh, uh, Windows 7 rather, uh, within the uh, uh, Windows 8 desktop. Um, and you'll notice that what's missing is the start menu. Instead, there's a, uh, if you go down into the left hand corner here, you can uh, go right back into your, your apps um, start menu, the Metro interface. And uh, let's go back to the desktop. I'll show you something else on the desktop here. That um, I'm, oh, I am using camcorder to record this, by the way. In the Internet Explorer on uh, Win Windows 8, um, you can see that um, it looks a little bit different um, because this version is a brand new version for Windows 8. It's actually version 10, Windows Internet Explorer version 10. And uh, this is new right there. I like that. Install new versions automatically already. And um, let's see. Let's go ahead and shrink that. And as you can see, I went ahead and installed Adobe Reader. Um, and I also installed Adobe uh, Flash Player. And both of those installed just fine on Windows 8, by the way. All right. Let's go back over to the uh, Metro interface. And we'll take a look here um, on the right-hand side. Um, you can see that I have two apps, uh, um, widgets here, uh, Google and Yahoo. And the way I did that was I clicked on the Internet Explorer here, open it up, and down on the bottom you can see you can pin to start any any um, Internet Explorer page that you like to your Metro interface. And I'll give you an example. Let me just go over and, uh, I don't know, let's pick on uh, my on Beam, <laughs> investigate it. Alrighty, and that comes up and um, I found glitch. At any rate, I can click on here and um, there we go. <laughs> Let's go back over. That was supposed to work. There we go. <laughs> Pen to start. It's a little, little buggy, but not too bad. And if we go back over to the Metro interface, we can see I have another Yahoo app. Um, uh, widget here and I can click on that and that take me right over so that's pretty cool and at any given time you can uh, certainly um, unpin it too as well alright back to the uh, Metro interface um, on the Metro interface we have lots of apps I'll go through a few of them for you 
um, the uh, store. If you go in there, you have you can buy stuff. Um, certainly, it's very quick. This is not a very powerful machine. Um, it's also it's only a Pentium four with one and a half uh, gig of memory, and it's uh, it moves along quite nicely. Um, so if you want to buy something, you certainly can. And the store says um, top free and click on top free. I always like things top free in games. 14 apps. I guess this is the uh, apps marketplace for Windows 8, and there are a few here that. Uh, I can uh, click on and uh, bring those right into my Metro interface and I'm sure over a period of time there will be hundreds if not thousands of free apps for Windows 8. So I really look forward to that. Okay, back over to the Metro interface and uh, we can click on the weather in Seattle and find out what that looks like. And also um, I'm using the mouse because this is not a touch screen but it's, uh, it's very easy to uh, maneuver from left to right just scrolling um, with this or your um, if you have a mouse with a scroll key up and down on a scroll key uh, will will uh, move it from left to right as well so I think that's pretty cool and I can check check out temperature and uh, actually watch a video on the on the weather there I like that um, back over to the Metro interface again and um, we can go over to um, uh, music. Music is nice. Um, they have a, a real selection of music here that you can try before you buy. Here's Carrie Underwood. I'll click on her. She's a cute looking lady. And uh, just my opinion, but I think she is. All right. And then what we have is um, the ability to um, view all or show all. And, uh, and we can go down and see read here, which is good. And um, uh, somehow they're supposed to be. Oh, I would scroll over to the right and I can click on any of her albums. There we go. And if I click on, uh, oh, I won't know. How about um, Carrie Underwood play on 2009? I can certainly uh, take a look and I can actually buy the album or play a preview of it and listen to um, a small amount of uh, one of her songs before buying it. At any rate, check that out. That's pretty cool. All right, and uh, back over to the Metro interface. Okay, um, another thing I wanted to touch on was go up to the right-hand corner of the screen, go in your toolbar here. I like to call this the toolbar, but uh, well, there's probably an official name. But at any rate, you can click on the search, and you can get a, uh, a really quick um, um, look at all your apps that you have installed in your, um, in your Windows 8 here as well as uh, your, you know, um, Windows Accessories, Windows Ease of Access, and uh, Windows System Tools. So you can access all of these Windows um, applications and tools really quick by uh, going into the uh, tool on the right hand, uh, toolbar on the right hand side and clicking on search. All right, back to start, and I want to touch on one other thing here before closing um, this video is uh, Internet Explorer here on the Metro you can um, you can go to like MSN for instance which is your frequent uh, one of your frequent apps or uh, sites that you've gone to and any given time you can click here and it'll bring up this window and you can select um, you know kind of a history frequently uh, accessed or, or browsed or surfed um, websites and also the ones you have pinned to your uh, Metro interface and Let's go back over to um, the Metro interface and go over to the desktop. And Internet Explorer is here at the desktop. Uh, it has nothing to do with the Internet Explorer that's um, in the um, Metro interface. They're not connected. So maybe uh, the final version of Windows 8 will have them connected, but right now they're not. Okay, that's it for a very quick look at Windows 8 Consumer Preview. And uh, I have to say that um, my opinion of Windows 8 is that I like it. And uh, I'm very excited about it. Okay, that's it.